Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel, Everyday Grace. If you are new here, welcome. My name is Sarah Grace. I live in a single wide, two bedroom, one bathroom mobile home in East Texas. Today I've gotta to get some stuff done around the yard. I need to mow, hopefully fill in some places with dirt that needs the dirt. We're hoping to get some crushed concrete delivered today, if not tomorrow, so we can go ahead and work on that driveway. There's plenty of stuff that I'm trying to get done today. So without further ado, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Starting off, we are going to mow the lawn. I am using my sister's lawnmower because mine was acting up this day. And it turns out that my sister's lawnmower didn't have any gas in it. So you'll see here in just a minute, it actually shut off because I ran out of gas. I thought there was something wrong with it, but no, it just didn't have any gas in it. So I didn't end up finishing mowing the lawn, but I did get at least some of the backyard mowed. <music> taking Milena side by side and I'm gonna go get some dirt that was in Vicky's backyard from where we dug up a hole for her septic tank. I'm gonna take some of that dirt and I'm gonna fill in a hole that's in my yard. It's not a big one but it's enough to where it holds water like puddles whenever it rains and where that hole is was actually right where our steps ended up being. Our porch isn't on our house just yet at this point in the video. But you'll see later on, it's literally right in front of where our steps would be. Notice how I'm saying my yard versus her yard as if we don't share the same yard. You added colors. So while I was inside waiting for the sun to go down to cover it so it wasn't so hot, Jimmy actually went ahead and dumped the dirt for me and ran it over. So it is done. This is what it looks like. Hopefully it's not going to flood like it was. And it'll level out more. He ran it over with the side by side. So Now we are reinstalling our front porch. This was the porch that was on our house previously at the other land. And I wanted to hold on to it so I or not me, my husband took it off of the other land and he brought it back over here. Y'all, this was a headache. I, the only reason I wanted to hold on to this porch for as long as I can is, first of all, it's a really nice porch. Secondly, my father helped me build it last year, right before he had passed. It was one of the last things we worked on together and it holds value to me so I just wanted to go ahead and keep that but man I tell y'all it was such a headache now we are getting concrete delivered to fill in the driveway because there's a lot of parking that needs to be shared so we got a load and then Milena got a load we didn't actually finish the driveway in this video we did work on it a little bit but there's still a lot more that needs to be done it needs to be cleaned up and more precise but as of right now i really don't have time for that i have a lot more on my plate that i have to tackle so we just kind of spread it out and we will tackle that probably in a later video my life was great till you added color Just 
Okay, y'all, it is the next day. We are going to Lowe's. We have got a couple things we need to get. I'm going to try to get a light fixture for the back porch. I need to get some support beams for the front porch. It We cut off the support beams that were up under there whenever we had to move it. So I'm going to try to replace those. I need to get framing for our driveway because we just got gravel dumped. We need to spread that out today. And then we have to get stakes to put into the wood for the framing of the driveway. I didn't really explain that quite right but y'all will understand whenever you see what I'm what I'm talking about. Jimmy's inside getting his hair cut right now. Me and LJ are playing some games. No. I forgot my phone at home so we're playing games in the truck but we'll be going to Lowe's in just a minute. Okay. Let's see. Over here. We're going over here with the cheapest stuff. Right here, this is what we're wanting. Sorry, y'all, I'm shaking. Need you, I don't know what it is you do. I just want you, I just need you. I... LJ, <laughs> child. <laughs> know what it is you do. I just want to love you, I just want to hold you, just want to be with you. We are back from Lowe's and Walmart. This, I kind of went a little bit crazy. My local Walmart was having a sale on their uh, patio furniture cushions. These were $20, so I got two of those. And then two of these. They had one that I liked more because I, I like these. These are beautiful too, but there was one that I liked more, but that one was $40 a piece and I was not willing to spend that much. These were $20 a piece and then I got this pillow and I got it not because of this side, but because of this side. Isn't that pretty? I love that. And then, oh, you can't see it. Let's see. I got this sign. I love hummingbirds. Hummingbirds are Probably what I would say my favorite animal slash bird. There's a backstory on the hummingbirds. My grandmother actually had a hummingbird feeder. She has this huge window in um, her living room and she would put a hummingbird feeder and we'd sit there and watch hummingbirds all day drink out of the feeder and stuff. So that's, that's why I love hummingbirds. And then I got this little thing to put this on on. It was $5. This came from Lowe's. It's just a cheap... Um, back porch light, nothing fancy, just something to give us light because we actually don't have one right now. And then we got some wood and some other things. I'll have to show you that in a minute though. So, all right, but that's it for this. she came from kind of turned me upside down I just don't know what to do I want to spend the night at hers here we are just trying to put the steps back onto our porch but they are too long because our other land it sat up a lot higher the porch did and the trailer did than it does on this land so we just cut it in half and put it back on there worked perfectly fine didn't want to spend any more money that we needed to especially if we can use what we already have now to tackle my disgusting porch i have done quick cleanups on this porch i've never actually done a deep clean and that's pretty much what i'm doing in this video it had a lot of stains i've never sealed the wood i need to seal the wood but i've never done it so in this video, I'm going to be picking up, sweeping up, and then I'm going to see, you'll see me bleach the porch. I have a, um, my future brother-in-law, Zach, he has done house porch cleaning. I don't know. He did something and he knows how to do it. So he showed me the chemicals and what I needed to use and he helped me do it. And it turned out a lot brighter and prettier and it looks 10 times better and bring her one of my t-shirts so it smells like her perfume 
Now I really get what the love songs are talking about And I just want to tell her how I feel Screaming out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath When you saw her in that dress? When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating And you can't stop looking at her smile Then you've been in love That's how you know you've been in love There's something about the way she laughs And the way she always dances When she thinks nobody sees And when she's gonna miss her soul I tell her, baby, please don't go I think you should stay with me And I, I really get what the love songs are talking about Oh, and I just want to tell her how I feel Screaming out loud Have you ever been in love? Have you ever lost your head? Have you felt like you were out of breath when you saw it? This is the same furniture I had on the porch at the previous land. I'm just cleaning it up and getting all the paint off of it because I actually, I haven't even cleaned the outside furniture since if y'all watched the um, video of where I'm doing a Christmas float in tribute to my father. Yeah, there was still paint on the furniture <laughs> from that video. Oh my goodness, y'all. I'm a hot mess and that's okay because I know I'm a hot mess. I'm just a work in progress though. So I kept the furniture the same, but I just switched out the pillows. Dress. When your heart is beating fast and you're sweating and you can't stop looking at her smile, then you've been in love. That's how you know you've been in love. This is a Centronella candle I got from Walmart. Usually Centronella candles, in my opinion, stink. But this one actually smelled really nice. It was florally and it's so nice to have it lit out there whenever it's dark. It's just so cozy. And it keeps some Texas pterodactyls away, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Jimmy's cousin Jesse came over with his fiance to hang out for a little bit. Fun fact, I actually knew Jesse before I knew Jimmy. He, it's a long story and it'll have to be an explanation that I give at another time, but I'm actually really close to Jesse. He's like the closest thing I got to a brother and LJ calls him Uncle Jesse. So I hope y'all enjoyed today's video. Until next time, love on your people, be kind to strangers and know that you are God's child. I'll see y'all in the next one.